So just as a little add-on, I'm going to talk about gating. Um, people gate drums quite a lot. I'm going to do it on the kick. Um, the reason for doing it here would be just to clean it up a bit. Um, if you hear the kick on its own, some, I mean, if you're going to do this, it's probably good to do it right at the start, but doing it at the end helps you get a more realistic view as to whether it's making a difference on anything. Um, right, I'm just going to play the kick on its own again. I mean, this kick in particular has got a lot of overspill, so you can hear a lot of uh, snare, everything in the background, toms when the fills happen. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a gate, a noise gate. So if I go dynamics and I go noise gate, the um, whole point of a noise gate is to remove unwanted noise in the background. And you do it by setting the threshold. Um, search for the threshold. where the loudest noise, which is in the uh, sound file, which is going to be the kick because it's closest to the mic and it's going to be the loudest thing. The overspill's quieter, obviously. When your thing meters on your um, on this at the side, you know, you can't constantly coming in at minus 16, minus 12, minus 7.6 dBFS. You, your dynamic level of the track's constantly changing. What it does here, if you set the threshold, um, it will cut out anything below what comes in at that particular threshold. So if you met, or you have, you have to actually change it. There's no set rule for that. You have to move it around until you find the right one. A few snares are getting through there. So you know that isolates the kick. Obviously, if that was there on its own in the mix, it might start sounding weird. I mean, you could do it like that, but you know, you have to tweak around with it so it doesn't sound weird. Um, remember, a lot of the kick is coming through the overheads too, so you might just want the kick as a really jerky kind of uh, cut up track. Anyway, now, if you follow me, this is what I would do. Set the look ahead. I'm not really gonna explain what that is, apart from it just means that the, the plugin actually looks into the future to find out what's gonna happen and adjusts with a little bit of time left. I would set the attack to one as well. Um, now, these, you just have to change depending on how the sound is. That gives a bit of body to it. It lets the uh, keeps the gate open for a little bit of time um, during the sound. This does as well. So you know, you give the kick a bit more of a realistic envelope. Probably should turn off the reverb at this point actually to get a more realistic idea of what's going on. Um, Anyway, that sounds alright. Now, the final thing, at the moment, game reduction is 100 dB, so it's completely silencing everything which is not um, the kick. Now, you might want to, to be a little bit more musical, rise this up. Because if you have a gate that just, kick, that just cuts everything out, then it starts to sound a bit mechanical and weird. Um, and often, like I said, you can't pick it up in the mix because there's so much other stuff going on, but sometimes you can. Anyway, what I would suggest doing is probably having a reduction of between about minus 25 and about minus 12, depending on what sounds right. Um, one thing to keep in mind is you're never going to get it perfect with a gate, and sometimes it's better just not to bother with it, or else you can end up making things sound weird. Um, you can also do an EQ'd gate, and I might show that later, but it's a very um, advanced technique. Uh, so let's hear that in the mix. Be it. Well, you know, don't know. It depends if you think it makes any difference or not. It, I think it just tidies it up a little. When you hear the hum underneath, the boom, 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 the sustain of the kick goes down a little bit, and the kind of the um, it just it's just a way of tidying up your track a little bit. And because the kicks had a lot of low end EQ boosted that's boosted on all the things that are in between, like the overspill and all that. So you can end up with a bit of a low rumble that you don't particularly need, and you can get rid of it with a noise gate. Um, you can experiment with noise gates a bit. For me, I can hear that a little bit going a bit unrealistic. 
Um, anyway, that is that's how to add a gate, and you could try that if you wanted. I'll put the reverb back on. Okay, great.